Hello and welcome to another video tutorial with Märklin of Sweden. Today we're going to make model trees, pretty as this one behind me here. And actually the cost is nothing, just the time and effort and it takes no more than 58 seconds to make a tree like this. The base material I used to make these trees is from the Spirea bush and this is what the flower looked like in the summer. In October, when the flowers have turned brown, I typically pick 100 pieces to make one batch of trees. The more you make, the more time you save. First thing you do is to peel off the green leaves that is growing uh, in the, the flower. Like this. And also the one up in the top could be hidden under the flowers. There. All right, 99 ones done, and this one is the last to go. Next thing is to soak the flowers in a softener. The softener I use is a mix from glycerol, which is available on any pharmacy, at least here in Sweden. And uh, some alcohol. This one is used to reduce the surface tension, makes the liquid soak into the uh, flowers better. Actually, you can use any alcohol there. Uh, it doesn't have to be gin or vodka. And then I pour in water for the rest. Maybe uh, like uh, four liters or so. I let the flowers stay in this uh, softener for two days. And then I let them dry at least three days before I start working on them. I use a scissor with uh, bent blades like this. And then... I uh, cut away some of the parts of the flower to get that specific look for the tree I'm modeling. Right here it's uh, spruce. I even use the smaller parts that is left over for smaller trees. Then it's time to paint them. Uh, it doesn't really matter what type of paint you use uh, as long as it goes well in the airbrush. I use a uh, pine green, which is a, it's a dark green color, and this one's from Polyscale. Polyscale is no longer available in the market, but there are equivalent paints out there. Then I use an orange uh, humbral paint to get that characteristic uh, orange color on the top part of the, of the stem. All right, and we're done. This is what the final result looked like. I then let it dry, and uh, on the layout later, I uh, placed them in groups of three or five trees together to get the best look. And, uh, and this is how the final result looks like. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and have good use of it. If you like to see more of these tutorials, please subscribe to Märklin of Sweden channel here on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching.